people like I don't like that type of shit. This time, I wasn't crying. You wanna know why? Because it wasn't the reason my of my divorce is not because of none of that shit that ever happened before. It's not because of cheating. I'm seeing people like, oh, he has a baby on the way. That's a whole fucking complete lie. There's like the second time that people's trying to pin babies over here. No, that's bullshit. Um. There's been a lot of baby rumors going around with Offset. So once again, Cardi B is coming in defense of Offset. And I know certain things, you know, she wants to remain secretive. She doesn't want people knowing her business. I, I get it, but <laughs> this is what you signed up for. This is Hollywood. Everyone knows your business. Since the day you post your business up on Instagram, on social media. Everybody knows everything about your business. Once you're a celebrity and you showcase to the world who you are, you no longer have a private life. You've opened your life to everyone. So everyone knows exactly who you are and what you do. These are the two types of energies you'll get from the universe. This is something that I'll, it takes a lot of mind capacity for people to really endure the love and the appreciation that you get from a lot of people for what you do but with that love and then the that appreciation with that energy comes hate you also have to endure millions and millions of people who hate you and possibly will go to the extent of doing something to physically hurt you not saying that somebody would do something like this to physically hurt her but we really need to come to a conclusion here. You do got radical fans out there who adore and love Cardi B. So, not saying this could happen, but uh, we're living in some strange times, folks, and it's 2020, and I wouldn't be surprised if a crazed, deranged fan tries to do something to offset makes you kind of think huh but listen Cardi B can't fool nobody with a bullshit I'm gonna break it down for you ladies and gentlemen ladies know this but men some men are not openly aware of women's emotions in order for you to understand women, you have to understand a woman's emotions. Women are emotional. You know for a fact that this is not how she truly feels. She's hiding up a lot of things and trying to protect Offset. Believe it or not. But really and truly is this. And this is what I truly believe. One too many is just enough for me to analyze what type of person Cardi B is dealing with. And normally, I would pick the woman's in defense. Not not the woman, I'm, I'm going apologize. The man's in defense. For the most part. But just from analyzing the situation. And I'm not going to say she's a saint either. Because maybe... She was a saint. I don't know. We haven't heard anything with her screwing around or fucking around with somebody else. But we have of Offset. Think about it. <laughs> That's why I say I don't understand men. When you become empowered with riches. Why do you subject yourself to a woman that you know you can't be subjected to in a committed relationship? You have too much options when you have money, especially when you're a person like Offset. But you can also lose that as well. Now, in my last podcast, 
Cardi B did illustrate that she was going to get offset for child support. But then again, that was media outlets. So how are we for sure if that was the words that are coming out of her mouth or not? Or maybe she did indicate that. And she was pissed off and mad at the time. I don't know. But I can tell you this, that this relationship is far off. And it's far from being over. And I'm going to get to who I think is the narcissist in this relationship. I just, I just got, I just got tired of fucking arguing. Before, when, when you feel like it's just not the same anymore, before you actually get cheated on, I'd rather just leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of people saying that I'm paying blogs. What, another thing, I'm not, I don't, just because I get along with bloggers and the bloggers that I get. See, Cardi B said that them getting a divorce is not because of offset cheating but she did illustrate that before I do get cheated on I just want to end the marriage some just don't sound too right there it's either you don't have faith in the obviously you don't have faith in the marriage because you believe he's cheating on you or he's going to cheat on you I don't think it's because he's going to cheat on you I think it's because you know and I understand you don't want to look like a fool because she did say that she indicated she won't want to look stupid being with this nigga again. I'm just saying along with if they ask me a question because there has been so much rumors going around. Why is the reason if they ask me a question and I answer them? That's not them pain. That, that's not me paying them. I'm giving them an honest answer. So they're going to tell the platform the answer. I'm tired of people saying, oh, sources. Sources said this, sources close to Cardi, close, sources close to Offset. That is a lie. Because why have these sources didn't say nothing a couple of days before I wanted to get a divorce? Now y'all want to say something after it comes out. That's not true. And another thing is, I don't talk to people. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only, I'm only around my family. I don't talk, I don't talk to people from my label unless it's about music. And I don't talk to none of the people that I work with unless it's about a project that I'm about to do. So stop with the bullshit that sources told Yeah, there is no fucking sources. Because where were the sources before the shit hit the, the thing? And another thing that I want to say is, because a lot of people saying that I got a divorce for clout, because um, one, one time I did an interview, and I said that my, that my album is going to have some lemonade moments. I didn't say my album was going to be like lemonade. I said it's going to have lemonade moments. Of course, like, like, for example, uh, be careful, ring, and uh, be careful, ring, and uh, through your phone, right? Those are relationship songs. So, of course, I'm going to have relationship songs on my album. My album is not going to be about only relationship. I'm a hip-hop artist. I, I talk about, like, I, I'm not an R&B artist. I'm a hip-hop artist. And on top of that, the same interviews that y'all got that from is the same interviews where I said I don't have an album coming out anytime soon i don't have an album coming out anytime soon and i'm very indecisive of my next single so is i'm not doing it for no clout and on top of that i don't need stunts i don't need drama to sell music right now my song wop is number one in the u.s and it's number one worldwide and i'm not trying to brag but don't ever say that i'm doing anything for clout because i'm gonna drop something fuck out of here my first my first album is three times platinum and i needed no fucking stunts to do that this song my 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 fucking uh single right now is number one worldwide why would i need why would i need uh, something personal to sell my next anything that i'm dropping i don't i don't need that i don't need stunts i don't need stunts and i don't need any stunts that comes to family to sell anything so don't ever pay yourself i don't understand why people um want want the 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 reason for the divorce to be something so so bad it's, it's not nothing nothing crazy out of this world happens sometimes people really do fucking grow apart i've been with this man for four years i've been i have a kid with this man i have a household with this man sometimes you just want you just 
you just tired of the uh, of, of, of the arguments of the buildups. You get tired sometimes. And before something bad happens, before you get left, before you get cheated on, you sometimes you just want to leave. What is so bad about that? Why y'all wanted to be a baby? Why y'all wanted to be, oh, he cheated again? Why? Like, it's like you, you're not in a relationship. You don't know how a relationship go. Y'all want, y'all want me to get cheated on 15 times before I leave? You want this nigga to have a kid before I leave? It doesn't, it, it, no. Sometimes you want to stop it before it gets to that. <laughs> you know, it's not always I would always agree with Cardi B because those of y'all who watch my channel know that I am not the biggest Cardi B fan in the world. <laughs> But one thing I do say is when you're right, you're right. Cardi B has enough money. She can move like that. She's got that pull where she can get out of a relationship. Why should she stay in a relationship with a man that could, they, hey, they probably don't have those problems yet of them cheating, but it could lead to that because they're constantly fighting. I get it. I'm kind of like in the same situation too. This is therapy. This is relationships. This is a valuable lesson that a lot of people can learn from Cardi B and especially women and men too. Dealing in relationships. Maybe somebody is the narcissist, maybe not. Maybe they both are just not compatible. Maybe they're not narcissists. I could be totally wrong about the situation because I don't know. Maybe Cardi B just doesn't want to speak up more than what it is. Or maybe it's not exactly what it is. <laughs> the only thing we could do is take Cardi B's word for it. Take it like a grain of salt. And if this is what makes her happy and you are fans of Cardi B, then you should be supporting her no matter what decision she makes. So... I see a lot of them on there saying, hey, don't leave. Stay together. I understand it. People want to see black couples or couples <clears throat> together. <clears throat> Brown and black or black and black, whatever. Whatever. She's black. Same shit. Couples stick together. You know what I'm saying? So. I get it. I totally get it. But at the same time, this is where you got to separate emotions from logic and right now it's crazy to say this but and i can't believe i'm even saying this too but cardi b is speaking with logic you have money why stick around why hold a man back if he's not ready to be committed he, he never wanted this in the first place you got what you wanted you got a child out of it you got to experience marriage which a lot of women do not have that opportunity to experience marriage now this is my honest opinion on things. You know how I used to say like, there's only once in a lifetime where possibly a woman would experience marriage. Sad to say this in this country, a lot of women probably won't experience marriage. A lot of them will experience being a baby mama because, well, in my days, in my era, I come from the baby making bastards, okay? My pop's generation was different. Didn't come from that. It was a little bit different. You know, the fathers were there. They stuck it out. They grind it out, you know. But as long as the father's going to be in a life, well, they're, they're born. They, listen, this child culture is born with royalty. So she is going to be just fine. <laughs> she is going to be, she's going to be, man, she's got a bank account more money than I have right now. And she can't even spend the damn money. Okay. And then every, any one of us. So I don't feel sorry for culture. Culture is in good hands. Trust me. She's got two wealthy parents. They, she, they'll be fine. So stop bringing up these fake rumors. Uh, uh, there has been a lot of people with fake text messages, with fake bullshit. I'm sure... Like 
oh, it would have been something out now. No, just leave it. I just want to be, I just want to be a free bird, okay? Stop. I just want to be a free bird. <laughs> um, so when people, so stop with the shit that I pay. I never, let me tell you something. I have never paid bloggers. I never pay bloggers. I never pay somebody. And they ask me if it's true or not. I'm going to answer them. That's not me paying them. If I get along with certain ones, I might get more personal with them. I might have conversations with them. Doesn't mean that I'm paying them. That's not paying. That's not me trying to persuade the narrative. Some like it's like that. And then the audacity of some people trying to say that I do it in for clout. What I mean, bitch, I am the fucking clout. I never need anything. I never needed no stunts to sell shit. I got the number one song right now. The number one song right now. Why would I need anything to sell my next record or my next album? First of all, I'm not even putting, I don't even know where I'm going to put out my next single. Because like I said, I've been very indecisive. I did so good. That means that my second single got to be even better. So I'm very indecisive about that. Of course, um, my music videos, my music videos and the creative of my music videos, it doesn't take two, three days. It takes a month, maybe three weeks, so it could get done to perfection. So I don't need it for that. Uh, y'all wanna, y'all wanna take that narrative like, oh, she's having a lemonade album. I'm not having a lemonade album. I have like two, three songs that is like about relationship. That's why people be like, you know, I'm gonna have my lemonade moments, but I'm not having, like, come on now. I'm a, I'm a, I, I like, I, I gotta, I, I cannot have a whole rap album about a relationship, like, stop it. I'm gonna have two, three songs, but not that. And I'm not dropping my album anytime soon. I want to drop my album when it's time to tour. There you go. I want to drop my album when I can sit down with people and do interviews. I don't want to do, if you imagine me doing album. See, I understand. I, I, I understand where Cardi B is coming from with this. I mean, she's got different personalities. That's sort of like myself. There's times where I want to be on some goofy, funny shit with my videos. And then there's times where, you know, I want to get down. I want to get serious with it. So let's keep going. And I got to do it through a fucking, I got to do my, 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 interviews through a, so no. Don't ever play yourself that I'm doing shit for stunts. I never, I never needed stunts to sell shit. Um, that is all. Don't play with her, play with them. And, you know, I've been, I've been really, I've been really, 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 really busy because I've been focusing a lot on my business. I'm about to start branching off on new businesses when it comes for myself. And I'm also, um, and I'm also, am in, am in charge well, me and Offset, of course. I'm about to start my own business. I'm also in charge. I'm about to make multi-millions. I'm trying to make billions. And also, me and Offset, of course. Did y'all hear what she just said at the end of that? If y'all can't, y'all could just go ahead and rewind this video and just listen. But that's a clear indication that they're in a business together. See, they... they she's giving out clues what she's doing they in the business together they're making this money they're trying to be a power couple and trying to invest and make more money they probably have a lot of investments that me and you probably don't even know about okay so they're 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 a dynamic dynasty couple uh there for success and i think it's going to be more of a business relationship now you know, and, and that's what's going to happen, you know, in the future when it comes down to uh, women and men in this industry. It's just a, well, basically that's what it is, basically. <laughs> it's always been a business. It's just a business. Why do you think power couples are getting with each other? They know that people are not meant to be loyal. 
and the shit, just like business partners, but they want to make sure they secure the bag. So securing the bag is what's important because they need that money. Um, we have we are doing businesses for culture, so I'm working really hard every single day. I'm waking up very early, doing a hundred Zoom meetings, fucking coming up with millions of ideas, writing it down, because. I'm going to start doing things for 2021, and they need to be perfect. One thing I don't like, I don't like selling bullshit, especially when it's going to be mine or my child's. So, I don't know, like, my mind is just always on 100, because not only do I got to focus on music, I got to focus on other businesses, because I, I really want to be, I want to become a billionaire. Like, if I could, I would, and that's in my head and i know i can so i'm really right now just focusing on work focusing on everything like i said i'm very indecisive about my next single i stress myself out a lot because everything just gotta be super amazing people always want to put me down because for my work people always want to make an excuse for my work so i always gotta like do the most when it comes to my work like not the most, but like just make it make sure that it's amazing. So that's just really what I'm focusing on right now. I want to say thank you to everybody that been showing me love. I'm I'm okay, okay. I'm I'm really okay. I'm I'm great. I'm okay. I'm not down. I'm not devastated. I'm not hurt. I'm just I just I don't know. I just need I just need something. I just need freshmen. I I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I need. I'm crazy. I'm a crazy bitch. I need, maybe I need to start smoking weed again. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay? Very terrible morning because my daughter was behaving very fucking bad today. Then I wanted to go downstairs to the basement to her teacher. She was just being bad. And um, that really pissed me off this morning because I had to do so much calls. But I couldn't because somebody was just being bad. Bad as hell. I don't know. Uh, these these kids, shit. <laughs> so, yeah. If y'all want to know a little bit about my morning, how I went, that's how I went. I, wake, I woke up today. I woke up at 9.30 to get this girl ready. Mm. And it was, just, uh, it was just a terrible nightmare. Mind you, I was extremely sleepy because I, I fell asleep yesterday like at 3 a.m. watching her run. So, yeah. Just terrible morning. Terrible morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was just terrible. Like, Man, it was she just sound a like terrible she morning. high like, right now, now boy. Sleeping, after she gave me a hard ass time, being mean to me, mean as fuck to her teacher. I couldn't even leave her alone with my with my niece and the teacher because she was just being so bad. So I had to literally be in her class section. Well, anyways, guys, goodbye.